Hello, I'm NanoMK. Today, I'm playing Minecraft with mods in it. And today, what I'm going to do is make ender pearls with s create, which means I'm also making slime balls with create. Uh, which means, what? what is this? Venerable dough? Oh, nut flour, okay. Um, so, we have to figure out some good ways to make dough. <gasps> Look at this. I don't have to use water buckets. Okay, okay. And then I can just... What was it? Um... Wait a second. Any type of dough? Yes, any type of dough works with this. Okay. Um, the problem is, I can't really use eggs. <coughs> I mean, I can if I'm doing it manually, and I probably will, actually. Like, to start myself off. Um, but I'm going to... A my plan for the actual automation is to just use, um, like, a basin with water in it. Which is the other recipe, I believe. Right? Get wheat flour, and then put it in... oh, you have to mix it in a basin. Oh, you can get extra... Um, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. So put wheat flour in a water-filled basin. Or I could wash it. Hmm, that would be better. I think I want to wash it. Yeah, so I'll wash it with water so I don't have to keep pumping in water into a place into places, whatever. But first I'll make the easy dough. Also, no. Yeah, it makes me more bread than normal crafting of it does. So this is good for like easy crafting. The other problem I have is how in the universe am I going to get lime dye? I need to find cactus. I believe I need to find cactus to make green dye. There has to be another way. What is this? A painting machine? I think I could make this. But then, how do I make green pigment? Yeah, this isn't looking good. because I can't make it without green dye. I could... Oh, and this is guaranteed. If I can find ferns or rose bushes <coughs> or tomato shrubs. I need something that's more likely to give me green dye. And this gives me lime dye. What else can give me lime dye? Just sea pickles. pink tulips, wild carrots, but all of these ones have lime dye as a byproduct, except for sea pickles, of course. Okay, so, that's what we have to do. Um, one more thing. How am I going to get white dye? Okay, I can get the, get it from flowers, which is nice. There are also a few other ways to get bone meal. All right, all right. Um, let me make the remaining slime bowls out of these. Put them in here. <clears throat> and so, where do I start? Um, I need to put this stuff away. I'm going to use this uh, backpack I have that I got from the musical zombie uh, for the project. So, so that way, so that way, all the stuff I need or might need will be in there. 
and I can like pick it up and t don't do this, please. Okay, um, I need to create things anyway, I suppose. Uh, okay, there's a fan. In the meantime, I'm going to charge this. Oh, I'll turn on the engines. They should start. There we go. Let's see. Ah, look, it's generating. Oh, it just finished. They can turn off now. I like this this thing. It's just they're so noisy. But I like that little switch I have to turn on and off my engines. <coughs> ah, this is charged mostly. So I will charge this now. They'll turn off soon. Alright, I'm still gathering the resources for what I need to make. Or at least what I think I need for what I need to make. I will need kelp for our conveyor belts. And I'll probably want some more funnels as well. Here's what I've got so far. I made uh, 14 more encased fans. I made six millstones because I believe I will be needing those. And I'm gonna need to cook these so I can get a bunch of conveyor belts. This has finished. Put that away. <clears throat> oh, come on. Uh, it's trying to fill the MFE. Okay, I know what to do. Where are they? I have a bunch of redstone furnaces. Surely using at least one wouldn't cause an issue. Uh, where is the... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> oh, I don't need this in my inventory anymore. The flux duct. Flux ductses. Yeah, this should get plenty of power. And it smelts faster. Oh, I should... Yeah, I should turn on the engines. Sorry, it's gonna be noisy. I like how it turns on and like you like some of them start firing and then some more start firing and then the whole thing is on. Yeah, this is way faster than the IC2 furnace. I'm impressed. <coughs> okay. I should have plenty of water, but just in case, um, instead of using a bucket, I'm going to use a fluid tank. N? Aha! Too bad it's like the same keybind for open minimap. So now, I've got tons of water, and I can just uh, do that. In fact, 
Uh, controls, keybinds, key, N. Oh my goodness. For mechanism? Um, shift N, and what about left shift N? No. Control shift N. You can't do double keybinds, huh? Shift one. <laughs> um, I'll make that shift one there. All right, that works because I don't really use my number pad keys to switch between uh, tools, even though it's nice. But as soon as I get to like nine, I have to reach over more. So, there's that. Okay, so I've got water. This one should be filled up with lava. Um, so, what else, what else? There's more stuff. Okay, I need wheat and wheat seeds. That's why I harvested that. I think I will go harvest this one as well. Because the wheat's going to go into the millstones and then turn into dough, etc. Oof, loud. So what I really need is the seeds. Because it's my idea is that it will have its own wheat farm. Okay, and then I'll use the rest of this for funnels. Can I use cinnabar? No? Okay. Just a guess. Just a thought. Ah, I was almost about to say I'm out of redstone. But I'm not quite yet. Uh, redstone around quartz. Perfect amount. And then the rest will be these ones. Okay, I can, yeah, I can turn it off now. Again, they'll still take a while to turn off, but they will turn off. I'll show you. There's probably still fuel in the pipes. Oh, it's gone out of this one. There's probably just more fuel in the other pipes. Or the engines themselves. If you'll just ignore the sound, it looks really cool running. Okay, it's hard for me to ignore the sound, it's really loud. <clears throat> Is this everything I need? I need a way to harvest the wheat. <sighs> okay. Which means I want these... not the plows. Are these what I need? I don't think I don't think they are. They do that. Okay. Yes, they work on contraptions. They make paths. They eat animals. All right, that's not what I need. I think I need this. It appears they harvest crops. Aha, and they replant. Perfect.
Okay. So, these. What's the recipe? I need more iron plates. I could literally put a stack of iron in for this. Which I will. But it takes some time. Because this is slow. You know, why don't I just use... I don't think I have enough power from this. What is this? This is... Okay, so... This is coming from the steam engine, and it's going to the furnace thingy. This is coming from the water wheels. <laughs> um, I wonder if I could... I don't think I can speed them up anymore. I can try to, though. Where are the casings? I don't think it'll work. I think it'll be overstressed, but I'm going to try. one gearbox. That's terrible. Okay, now I have some more gearboxes. Uh, wrong direction. And now I have no gearboxes anymore. <clears throat> oh well. But it is faster. That's much faster. Just one gear ratio. Oh, was that one more gear ratio? Yeah. One more gear ratio made the difference. Pretty good. but I'm going to need more andesite alloy. Wait, what? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, this... Oh, I don't know what design I'm going to use. Probably something circular. I'll get four. Yeah, that will work. And then... I need a... what's it called? Actually, I could use some of these, too. But I need, in order to use a linear chassis, I need a mechanical bearing. What if I used a windmill? No, I'm going to use water mills. I think. Wait a second. Ugh, everything needs more andesite alloy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get myself some andesite. And I'll be right back. Alright, I've gotten myself a decent amount of andesite. Um, and now I have to actually use it. Use it. Okay, that helps a noticeable amount. Um, okay. Now, where was I? I was going to make... Where is it? I should have saved it. I made these. I'm going to make a mechanical bear. Oh, I wasn't sure which one I was going to make. Right. 
The windmill bearing is much cheaper. <laughs> but then I have to spend a bunch of andesite alloy on windmill pieces. And I can make the wool. But I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, uh, let me just make... Not this. This. Is this how you make the bigger one? I'll do that later. Alright, eight of them should do for now, I suppose. I think. I hope. Um, now I need a bunch of gears and cogs. And some more shafts. Uh, I'm running out of time. Is that it? Is that all I need? I still need. Okay, if I'm not gonna make mechanical bearing, I need to make. Uh, if I'm not gonna make windmill bearing, I need to make mechanical bearing. <coughs> and I think I only need one. Right, and then the water wheel would be going under it. <coughs> and I also I don't need this the harvester to go very fast. At least not until I get a way to speed up the crops, which will be coming soon-ish. And then oh, let's see. Ah, oh, I need I need the basins, the actual crafting stuff. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I can craft with a basin <coughs> and a mechan uh, what's it called? A whisk. I need the stuff that I have. Okay. What? Wasn't that the oh, I got it inversed. Inverted. Okay, four of those. Excuse me, what? Oh, they want gears. I mean, cogs, whatever. Cog, gear, same thing to me. That should work. I think that's a little bit too many, but I can just use them for other projects. <coughs> and then, do I have a hoe? No. I have this piece of garbage and this piece of garbage. Those will work together. Yes. Okay. And I think that's it. I still feel like I'm missing something, but I'm going to bring a crafting table with me just in case, and we're going to start building it. I want to put it, hmm, I want to put it back here, somewhere. In fact, why don't I just build on a giant room, another giant room. So I will get more, uh, actually I have plenty in my pocket storage. What am I thinking?
Okay, that will do. <coughs> don't need that bow in my inventory. I just don't know how I'm going to actually get access to this area. Uh, I'll figure out a way. Uh, okay. Building wand, please. Thank you. So this room is a 17 by 19, or once I get it right. Uh, wrong bag. This one. That Enderman. Do you see what he was doing to that cave? Making it look ugly. Come on, you can't fight? He's one of those pearless Endermans. Endermen, whatever. Words, English sometimes escapes me. I'm gonna make this actually one taller. Because unlike those ones, I'm not gonna drop the floor down. Ah, I have run out of what I need to craft with. Need to build with. I hope you don't mind watching me actually doing some building in Minecraft. I do have a feeling though that this episode is going to be one of the longer ones, unfortunately, but uh, I also like long videos, so hopefully you guys do too. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I like builders builders wands. Then I think this is the center. So what did I say? This was a nineteen by seventeen building. I hope this is the center. Like if I do if you do an odd number building, you can always divide the sides evenly so you can have one uh block or one odd number of blocks in the middle. Which means I made a mistake. It must not be the right size. Well, here's an example of the problems of not doing it right. So I'll just make this center one two blocks wide instead of three. I've got glass.
And now I don't got glass. Uh huh. Okay. This room feels really nice at this height. Maybe I will drop the floor down. I'm still trying to not do that though. Yeah, so this is right in my storage room. Okay, I don't have enough wood for that. I'll just use the deep slate. Okay, let's see how how bad it is. Let's try to fill in the floor. And <laughs> that ran out pretty quick. Thankfully, I do have some more of these. This marble. I really like the marble block. And the bricks, of course. Ah, I do have enough to make it. Alright, this is good too. I like it. Um, why don't I put like a support pillar in here, even though this is Minecraft and you don't need that kind of stuff. But mostly so I can put torches on it. Okay, I really like this <laughs> really like this room. I'll have to redo my storage room, or better yet, make a new one. But this is looking pretty good. I just need to fill in the glass. Okay, so, um, first I want to make the furnaces. The, not, they're not furnaces. Well, one, okay, I need to make the haunting machine and the washing machine. Uh, oh, I have water. What am I doing looking in chests? Okay, and each of them is going to be seven wide. Yeah, and probably the input's going to come from out here, because I'm going to have the farm outside. And then I need the fans. Uh, then I need, oh, it's all in here. And then I need the fans. And then I need... I guess this one is the haunting machine. Yes, I am building it on the floor. It should still work. And then... The conveyor belt... Wait a second. Now I have to test it. It's overstressed, huh? Come on. Yeah, it works. And since I don't need to stop the fire from flowing, <laughs> or whatever, I can uh, put the conveyor belts right next to it. And I also need to test and make sure the conveyor belts are, can be, like, right next to it. I, again, think they can, but I want to test just to make sure. Alright, and then... Ow. Uh, it looks like it's working. Let's see if I get an ender pearl this time. Nope. 
<laughs> Wonderful. I love it. Uh, I hear a zombie outside. But it does work. It does work. So, hopefully I'll be making so many slime balls that that stupid 25% chance thing doesn't have much, an, much of an effect. I will probably need some chests, so... Just two chests right now, one for input and one for output. I would like to put some glass on top of here, but I am mostly out of glass now, just trying to fill in the ceiling. But I will check just to make sure... Oh, I do have some more. Okay, the smoke goes through one layer of glass. Um, that's interesting. So here's the haunting machine. In fact, I can probably do the same thing for the washing machine. <laughs> the washing machine. Uh, where is my water? There it is. but this time I need to place the other stuff first because I still have to contain the water somehow. And this should work, so let me put a piece of cobblestone here. Yep, looks like it's working. Although, I don't think you can wash cobblestone into anything. Yeah, you can't wash cobblestone into anything, but the particles are showing properly. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> yeah, try to keep your builder's wand out of the way. Okay got this now. Here's one more chest. Yeah, I need a couple more chests. I'll, and I'll need more, even more, in the future. But just trying to get this set up first. Okay, I've got my two machines. My haunting machine and my washing machine. Now I just need a drying machine. Lol. Okay. So I will also need the uh, crafting. And where? What's, what goes in what order? So I would need to wash this first. <coughs> a lot. It would be pretty easy to do this.
and have that go the other way. Right? Okay. I wash the dough. And then I need to craft it before I turn it into my boxes. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing. A little bit. Uh, so I'll do this conveyor belt. And then... This conveyor belt. And then... I'll just do four. Why not? There we go. Conveyor belt. I do kind of like the way Create does conveyor belts. It's very unique compared to other mods. Clara, conveyor belts. And actually, these need to be raised up by one. And this has to be the input. And then I guess I could get the output here. Come on, place how I want you. Yeah, and then, <coughs> then it can go into this chest. Right? I need two of these actually separate, because I need to make the dies. There we go. <coughs> and then... Let me actually, like, place the mixers. Okay. The dies. Um, this is probably going to be the most difficult part. Unless I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, let's see. So I need to get something and craft it into die. And then I need to take that die. Oh, where's my grindstones? Millstones, whatever. Where will I put them? I I think... Uh, okay, I kind of... Okay, what's behind this wall, first of all? I could build another room here. That would be nice. But... I probably... Won't or shouldn't. Whatever. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, why not? Why not do all six of them? Actually, I need to put them higher up. In fact, I should probably do this. No, this is wrong. And I should be using this 
instead of wasting the power on my drill. Okay, these go here, and then these go here, and then this goes here. Yes. So, um, I haven't decided what recipe I'm using, what uh, what plant I'm using to make green dye. I don't think I have. I don't think I have ferns. I have to use rose bushes, but it only gives green dye with a five percent chance. What if I can what if I can get a large fern? What biomes what biomes do I have nearby? I my best chance of finding ferns of any type is in that jungle. It's the closest. So I guess I'll meet you there. Okay, we are at the jungle, and I'm looking for ferns. So, there's these. I wonder if I can bone meal them to be like double tall ones, and then get more out of them. But I'm concerned that I won't be able to. It would be even nicer is if I can find a desert. Maybe I just need to go through this jungle. Um, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, um, this is not a desert, but I do want to explore it on camera. Uh, what is it? This? For the pattern? And dodge the arrow. Anything worthwhile in here? No. No. Ugh. Garbage. Okay. What's behind here? One diamond. Not very worthwhile. Okay, back to my uh, t uh, mini map teleporting exploring because of time. Uh, wrong button. Here, I'll show you on camera. This is how I'm just getting around. Yay! Wow, I'm here. Okay, so I'll be back. It's gotten nighttime and I still haven't found a single desert. I found plenty of other interesting things that have nothing to do with what I need, like cool areas that I might that I would like to move to, but I already have a base. Um and like villages like this one, but I found another one earlier. But no deserts, no cactus. Nothing. What's in the chest? No green dye? No cactus? Worthless. Useless. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Because I can't seem to find one anywhere. And now the game is lagging just looking for one. Oh my goodness, don't tell me. Where am I? Yes, I'm doing this on camera. Okay, let's fix this situation. Okay. I'm in a desert village, a uh, desert abandoned village. How, f okay, where is this? Where am I? Um, no way.
Uh, wait, let me place a waypoint here. Trying to find it. Oh wait, I'm way over. No, no way. I see it on the mini map. I think. No, never mind. That's my broken monitor. Oops. <laughs> Where is it? How long until they disappear from the edge? Uh, I don't know. They're still there, so I'm guessing I'm... Okay, where... Where am I? Negative 2,000, negative 4,000. So... Negative 2,000? Oh. Negative 4,000. What in the world? And this desert is tiny. This can't be the... Is there any cactus? Please, there has to be cactus. I need cactus! No way. <laughs> no. No. There's no cactus in this tiny desert. That's the only one it could find. Maybe there's more desert around here somewhere? I don't know. I can't find what I need. I can't stinking find what I need! Okay, let's go, let me, let me go back to my base, and then redo that command. Okay, is that the same one? No, but it looks like it's in the same, it's in the same place. Alright. You know what? Why? What can I do to get cactus? Or is there... What flower gives me lime dye again? No, that doesn't count. Could it be that maybe this wandering trader near me is selling cactus? And with the emeralds that I found, I might be able to buy some cactus? This is the, my only option at this point. I literally w cheated and I couldn't get cactus. Huh? Excuse me. Move your llamas out of the way. Ah. He's not selling cactus. Yeah. He's not selling anything that would help me. Huh? Ah. <coughs> At this point, I feel like I'm being mocked. And I'm out of time for the episode. So, uh, that's the end of the video. God bless you and goodbye.